Hey, I'm Rob and welcome back to Fartbike. Here at Fartbike, we are massive fans of Three Legged Thing and their awesome tripods. A little while ago, we had a bunch of their tripods in the studio as we took a look at all their updated Punks line. The highlights from that being their awesome design and amazing build quality. And today is no exception as we have one of their new tripods in their pro line, the Charles 2.0. First of all, let's get it out of the box. Taking it out of the box, we greeted with some uh, silk gel, some plastic packaging around the bag, and finally, the bag itself. As we've come to expect now from Three Legged Thing, most of their tripods come in a very high quality, portable carry bag. With almost every tripod from Three Legged Thing, they include their awesome multi-tool carabiner thing. It has an Allen key attachment on the left, most common tripod. Allen key and it's also the one that works on all their hinges and stuff. A little coin slot thing and a bottle opener. I love these things. I, I always keep my blue one on my keys at all time because they come in super handy. If you find any of your legs ever getting loose, the little tool is the same size as all of these screws on here to uh, give them a good old tighten, as well as the coin side to help screw in the base of the tripod plate. And then if you get a little stuck when you're further in, the Allen key side will also tighten down that same screw. Three Legged Thing sent us the version of the Charles 2.0, which comes with the Airhead Pro full head. Um, although you can purchase it just as the legs if you have a head you would prefer. Onto the tripod itself. Three Legged Thing have always been known for their awesome design and build quality, and this is no exception. Uh, however, the Charles 2.0 is slightly different from the norm. I'm guessing because it's their newest pro range, they decided to go for that more stealthy matte black aesthetic. They call it the darkness look, which uh, definitely looks very slick and professional. If you buy the Airhead Pro with it, that is also slicked out completely in black, giving you that extra stealth look, as well as that, as I mentioned earlier, the little carabiner too, it's also in that matte black. But this is super elegant, nice and professional. You're not gonna be embarrassed if you're on a shoot that's a bit more um, professional and wanna fit in a little bit more. Um, or if you're out taking photos, you don't wanna have a big, great big, orange beacon of light showing where you're taking your your photos from a bush of wildlife or whatever. For the addition of a new airhead blacked out pro head and carabiner to match completes the full stealthed out awesome look. The tripod itself has three leg sections when extended fully which uses some of their amazing leg locks which is very well known for having some of the best leg locks in the tripod world and this is no exception. It's the same style as some of their other tripods. Made super easy to tighten and to loosen and when they're locked in, they ain't going anywhere. It's one of the fastest tripods to completely whack out because of those small turn, awesome locking leg, lo leg locks. There we go. And when the leg locks are tightened, they're super solid and aren't going anywhere. Tripod fully extends up to 1.8 meters. So when you have it at its absolute maximum height, you can see it's actually a little bit taller than me. If I place it back here a bit. Quite tall. I think it's plenty tall, probably taller than you'd need it in most situations. That's always a sign of a good tripod, one that can extend more than your average arms reach. The Charles 2.0 continues on from three-legged things, uh, awesome modularity. Each leg can be removed completely from the tripod itself to make a makeshift monopod or a impromptu boom arm or whatever you can think of really. It's got a standard screw mount on the top as well as on the bottom for the foot. So you can attach something smaller on the bottom or larger on this male screw on the top. 
The tripod itself has a uh, also this extendable center column as you saw earlier. You can actually remove this and mount your ball head directly to the tripod itself, allowing you to really spread those legs out and get as low as possible. If you remove all the legs and replace them with the little feet that are on the ends as well, this also makes a little nice uh, tabletop tripod as well. And if you already have a bunch of other three-legged thing, tri tripods or accessories, the modularity aspect of all their tripods is amazing and, and you could add a bunch of those to this and really create whatever you can imagine. Almost endless opportunities because of this modularity. Now, if you're familiar with their Winston 2.0 Pro tripod, you might notice that the Charles actually seems a, quite a bit similar. That's because in almost every aspect, the design is very much the same as the Winston. Other than a few accent details like these rubber, uh, these rubber grips around the tops of the legs here, and obviously the blacked out finish. However, the main difference between the two is actually the bill of materials. The Winston 2.0 is a carbon fiber tripod. The Charles 2.0 here is actually made from an aerospace grade magnesium alloy. Now this change of material is either a bonus or a downside, depending on your needs for a tripod. Uh, the main difference being the magnesium alloy means this tripod is about 20% heavier than the Winston which can either be a good thing or a bad thing. Most people will hear that and think, oh, it's a bad thing, it means it's gonna be heavier to carry around. And yeah, that is the case. It's definitely gonna be a little bit more noticeable on your back and that when you're lugging it around, especially if you're lugging a bunch of other equipment with you. Um, however, it's not a heavy tripod by any means. It's just um, a little bit heavier than if it was carbon fiber. That's, that's the point. Um, but the extra weight does mean that this thing is a little bit more sturdier, a little bit more rigid and um, less likely to be blown over in strong winds. Obviously you could put a heavier weighted camera on and worry less about it falling over from the sheer amount of weight. On the base of the center column, there's this little, um, there's this little through hole section for you to hook on your awesome three-legged thing tool thing which can also double to hold a sandbag or your backpack to uh, give you extra stability when in the wind. But even with that 20% extra weight, as you saw when I got it out originally, this thing actually does fold up really nice, small and portable, just like most of their tripods. With all the legs folded down, and if you unlock the tops, fold them over. If you unlock all the legs and fold them back on themselves, you get this relatively small and portable package for a tripod that goes quite tall and fits into a relatively small and compact bag. And a final bonus of that magnesium alloy is actually a little bit of a cheaper material than carbon fiber. So that means the uh, Charles 2.0 actually retails, retails a little bit cheaper as well. So if your budget is determining a little bit what tripod to buy, the price of this one might be a little bit easier to swallow. Speaking of which, the Charles 2.0 isn't the cheapest tripod in the world. The entire kit comes to just under 320 pounds. That's including the Airhead Pro. However, if you don't get the Airhead Pro with it, um, it retails for just $249.99. Comparing that to the Winston legs, which retail for about $275. Looking around the tripod itself, the fit and finish is absolutely flawless, as always from a three-legged thing. Now, there's less details on this one because that blacked out finish, but there's uh, a super slick, nice anodized look and feel to everything. Um, all the rubbers and the knurled rings on all the airhead feel amazing. It's just such a high quality feeling tripod. Now the Airhead Pro is nothing uh, was, is nothing too new, but I'll cover a little bit anyway. The knurled rings on each of the of each of the adjustments are a super well made, solid piece of metal, which feel great to uh, turn. Uh, you use the little one on the side to adjust your pan, the big round one to adjust the ball, so you can even mount it portrait if you want to. You get the awesome squared out camera plate in full black as well, uh, included 
But yeah, I guess that just about does it. There's only so much you can say about a tripod, I guess. But overall, again, I'm super impressed by three really good things, amazing build quality and style. Even when they're sort of going for an understated look, this thing just looks gorgeous. Um, the amazing modularity returns, as always, I love that. I love being able to rig my camera or rig a microphone or something really quick and easily when I'm on a shoot. So having this amazing modularity continuing on into even more of their tripods is always a great thing to see. The extra heft may put some off uh, being a little bit heavier than the uh, carbon fiber equivalent. However, the unrivaled sturdiness and robustness you get from that extra weight seems to outweigh it in my opinion. Those that take their cameras out into uh, into rivers and into the sea could maybe plonk this down nicely into the riverbed and not worry as much about the waves knocking over their precious camera but yeah thanks again three-legged thing for sending out another one of your tripods we use three-legged thing tripods all around here in the studio we have a bunch of the um, punks range tripods here at the studio as i mentioned earlier um, as well as a uh, big nicky with a bull head this is a nice sort of like between the punks and between the uh, the video tripod sort of range so this is nice like middle ground sturdy beefy thing i think it's going to work great in the studio as well as great in the great outdoors but if you like the review on this amazing tripod but want to see more don't forget to check out our previous video on all the other tri uh, tripods we've reviewed from three-legged thing and all their accessories too but yeah that has been the charles 2.0 from three-legged thing I've been Rob, this has been Photobyte, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.